Hello, this is Dr. Janet Bruno, and today I want to talk to you about a subject that there's a lot of misconceptions about, and that is milk. Now, thanks to the tireless efforts of the dairy companies and the support of many doctors, actually, a large portion of society today believes that milk is a healthy beverage that everyone needs to drink. Well, now, it is true that milk contains essential nutrients that our body needs, for most of which is protein. But it's important to draw a distinction about the source of the milk. Mother's milk will always be the best choice, but obviously it's not appropriate to drink that your whole life. However, there's lots of research dating back many decades ago that indicate that there's some concern about drinking cow's milk. It's been found that cow's milk does not contain enough iron and essential fatty acids, as well as being high in sodium, which is not necessarily good for the body. Now, a lot more has been said about cow's milk. Several studies have shown that children consuming cow's milk experience anywhere from minor to severe health problems. Infants, in particular, drinking cow's milk can experience digestive distress. And certainly feeding young infants or even young children animals' milk puts them at risk for iron deficiency anemia as well as a much more serious condition of type 1 diabetes. Yes, it's true. Type 1 diabetes has been very strongly correlated to young children who drink significant amounts of cow's milk. Now there's several other things. Constipation and allergies are common in cow's milk drinkers. Now, the protein content, the saturated fat, and the sugar that's found in dairy products can cause previously unheard of diseases in children, such as diabetes, as I mentioned, heart disease, and even cancer. And even if the risks of those diseases were zero, cow's milk would still be not called a benign substance because of the excess consumption leads to obesity in children, which we all know is a very growing concern today. So aside from these effects, some children are also lactose intolerant. They can experience bloating, stomach pain, and diarrhea. And most physicians are well aware of these symptoms and can quickly recommend switching from regular milk, regular cow's milk that is, to a soy milk. So what else is there aside from switching to a cow's milk to a soy milk? Well, as you know, plant-based nutrition is something I am a strong proponent for. And we certainly know that vegetables are very healthy kinds of food. They're low in fat and they have no cholesterol. And all the important nutrients are found in plant foods such as iron, folate, fiber, carbohydrates, protein, vitamin C, and lots of antioxidants. And these nutrients have been found to all fight against heart disease, cancer, and overall strength in our immune system. So there's actually many benefits in choosing plant food over animal food. Cow's milk can be replaced by soy milk, where the protein comes from, and it has none of the risks of the d diseases that are inherent in cow's milk. And if you combine this with a diet composed of vegetables, fruits, grains, and particularly if you can add in some physical exercise, you'll definitely be giving yourself and your child the best regimen possible. So it's important to protect your child in particular from the harmful effects of cow's milk and many other animal products. You want to provide him or her a well-balanced plant-based diet that supports the development of bones and muscles. Your kids will grow up to be healthy and they'll be much less likely to develop weight problems, high blood pressure, and many other diseases. So it's important for you to keep in mind the research about the link between milk and diabetes because as I mentioned this has been confirmed many times. And it's important to note that since cow's milk and some other factors in, in animal products can actually trigger an autoimmune response in the body. And that causes the pancreas to sometimes be rendered incapable of creating insulin, which therefore leads to type 1 diabetes. And if any of you know anyone with type 1 diabetes, that is a serious condition and it's certainly nothing that anyone would want their child to go through. So there you have it. Now that you know some of the truth about milk, and I could certainly provide a lot more information, I just wanted to keep this short, I really encourage you to provide yourself, your family, and your child the best advantage to a long and healthy life.
It's important to know that milk is not 100% good like so many people are led to believe. So I encourage you to consider this and look into this even further to give yourself and your family the best nutrition possible and truly to aim for a diet full of plant-based nutrition. Now I hope you found this useful. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.